Internet, good morning. My name is Magnitude. Welcome back to the WBE Week 2 Keeping It Old School camera recording in front of a 3DS. I've been doing this since 2007. This is the final send-off of 3DS for me. So I'm uh, uploading all these battles in the exact fashion that I did when I first started 12 years ago. Camera recording on a 3DS. Going up against Caitlyn this week. K Cray. It took me way too long to understand what the E-I-G-H, how to pronounce that. So I'm not going to admit how long it took me, but it was a considerable amount of time. Uh, this week, the Sawsbucks have Mega Garchomp, Heatmore, Heatmore appearance, I know. Zelf, Aggron, Clefable, and Thunderous. And my opponent has her own Garchomp, the regular variant, but a Mega Houndoom, which is a fucking ugh, problem. Uh, Nine Tails. that is a Magnezone, that is a Starmie, and that is a Mimikyu. So, didn't see Crobat, didn't see Porygon 2. I am thrilled at both of those, so I was very worried about that. Uh, but the reason why I didn't want to bring Hitmonlee was because uh, way too many things that could kind of stop it, uh, such as Starmie, and of course Mimikyu can, and then Crobat can also do that. So, But, uh, in fact, Hitmonlee uh, would have been uh, would have a nice solid matchup this week, so let's see. How we can do without it. She's gonna lead with Garchomp. I'm gonna lead with Garchomp. Uh, and I'm thinking to myself, I actually, I said it, I said it out loud, like, yo, turn one. She knows she cannot kill me with a Dragon Claw. Like, she knows that. And she knows I can kill her with a Dragon Claw. She's gonna switch out. I'm gonna fire up Earthquake. Earthquake's gonna hit everything. She has no Crobat. She stays in if I just went for Dragon Claw. She got her rocks up here. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and just get up. Uh, I'm gonna earth fire up an earthquake. I'm not going to kill the Garchomp, which is disappointing, obviously. Uh, but uh, a Dragon Claw would have. But you know, if she just went even into something like a Mimikyu, it would have easily stopped the Dragon Claw. If she went into Starmie, or no, if she went into Magnezone, no problem. Uh, she's gonna go ahead and hit me with a Tectonic Rage or whatever the hell it is. But uh, the good news is, uh, because it's not the, the the Dragon one, I can live this. So, uh, I, this is not, I'm actually a, a, a defensive, um, well, more bulky Mega Garchomp. So, hit me with the Tectonic Rage. I'm actually gonna, so, uh, can I, well, not kill me with this. So, I'm gonna go ahead and, and I'm gonna live this, and I'm gonna, go, are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god! <laughs> One turn of offensive moves for her, and she's already crit killed my Garchomp. So, I have a Zelf, and I thought, you know, maybe she might try to save this thing. Maybe go into Starmie, maybe go into Ninetales, maybe go into Houndoom. Uh, going into Houndoom on a Psy Shock would have been uh, disappointing for me, but you know what? I, I figure I cannot. Uh, I already lost a, a solid piece in Garchomp. I go for a Psy Shock, and actually, this does an okay amount of damage. It, it will uh, be enough to take it out again. But I actually thought that she was going to go into Houndoom here on my Psy Shock. So I just go right into Heatmore and predict that Houndoom switch, and I, I feel like that's the direction she'll be heading. Uh, she doesn't know that I'm scrubbing. She goes, what? She stays in! She stays in and goes for Toxic. I... If I just... I... Turn one, I thought she would switch. And now, I thought she was gonna go into Houndoom on... Uh, because I brought... Uh, I don't know. Uh, because, you know, didn't see a life or anything like that, I thought she might kind of assume I was choice in some manner. I go for a Sucker Punch and I miss. I, I, that was just a bad play to make Sucker Punch there. I should have thought she was going to switch. But I could have taken out that Ninetales. And uh, I thought here she was going to go for uh, you know, either a switch or a non-attack move to predict my Sucker Punch. So I hit it with a stomach tantrum. But I'm just upset about that Azelf Blast. I really thought she was going to go into Houndoom on that. And I have a fucking Assault Vested, bulky as shit, heat more. I'm upset about that, because that, that Ninetales could have been dead, Heatmore could have not been toxic, it would have just been great. She goes for a cover, and she decides, I felt like because of how much Thomming Tantrum did, that she would just, uh, you know, easily go for recovers and absolutely have no worries about Heatmore being a thing. So, she then does go into Garchomp, as I actually, you know, I'm going to go for a U-turn here, and I'm not, I just, I keep fearing that Houndoom to come in, and I don't kill it, because... Why would I, you know? Why would why would I get that happening to me? Uh, so I made, you know, some poor plays. Going to heat more here, and I actually, I kind of, uh, this is, I'm I'm gonna fake the Sucker Punch, right? Because Sucker Punch easily could take out this, this Garchomp Swamp, and I'm gonna die to a poison, and I feel like she's gonna predict that and either switch or go for a non-attacking move here, and I'm gonna hit her with a non-Sucker Punch. So I get it right, finally, I get it right. 
I go for Stomping Tantrum, and Heatmore kills a Garchomp. That's right. A sentence that's said in 2019 in Pokemon Competitive Battling, Heatmore kills a Garchomp. Yeah, this channel, we might not have the best plays, but we have things that have never been said. She goes, I work at Advanced Auto Parts. Okay? Okay? I work at Advanced Auto Parts. AutoZone is a, is a retail rival to me. I'm offended by that. You didn't know that at all. But I'm acting like you did. So I know that I can live a, even a Spex Flash Cannon. Well, I can most likely live a Spex Flash Cannon. I'm going to hit with a Flamethrower. Are you fucking kidding me? She's not Specs, guys. The problem is I couldn't get a good read on what her item was because I got crit and died. I have no idea. Now, the thing is about this, this fucking stupid piece of shit was I uh, was going to hit it back with a flamethrower with fucking, with Fable in the sun was going to do so much damage, but I predict her to switch here actually, and I go for an agility. Uh, and now I'm fat, so she wasn't spec, so I would have lived the flash cannon. So that's good, great fucking news. Hit her with a focus blast. This gonna be a dead mech. Are you? No, it's not. No, it's because it's Sturdy's here, Broly. Because my dog is here. He's watching his dad get embarrassed. Completely and utterly shellacked. And Hinbar Ice is not gonna do jack all to me, okay? Not gonna do dick. I am faster than everything now. That would be great news if you didn't have both a Mimikyu with their disguise still up and uh, priority. So that's not helpful. But Magnezone goes down, and Thunder, I am just sturdy. The crit, if she didn't crit with Michael Fable, then, uh, well, I would have known what item it was. It would have done a lot of damage to it. I could have brought in, yeah, I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. She goes for shit. Just that crit, on, like, the crit on Garchomp sucks, but that crit on Clefable was just, just, it cost me Clefable and Thunderous. So, I have a Zelf left, and I'm just going to U-turn to break the disguise. I don't, I'm don't. i glad she didn't Shadow Sneak here. I, I, I guess she uh, was just going to use this time to get up a, a safe Swords Dance, because she knows I have just Aggron and a Zelf left. So, I mean, that's that's a you know that's a good idea on her part to do that, to get up a Swords Dance. These fucking Stealth Rocks are breaking my sturdy. Uh, she is going to Swords Dance. And I have the Iapa, or the, um, whatever, no, the, uh, whatever, that berry that weakens, uh, fighting moves. Whatever, I can't remember the name of it. I don't remember the name of it. Chopper, Iapa, uh, Leechy, I forget the name of the berry that's on the head. Uh, but she's not gonna kill me with Shadow Claw, so the berry doesn't even come into play. And that, uh, Heavy Slam is gonna take out the Mimikyu. So we've lost 5 0 week 1. We are. I'm I'm mad about that clear play. That just that was just so game changing. And he with a flamethrower was gonna break the sturdy. Ugh. Maybe I would have. I probably wouldn't have killed it because I was too especially defensive. But she go honestly. If she missed that fire blast, I may have won this. <laughs> uh, because Agra, I would have taken out the uh, the nine tails. Then I, I had a scarf as elf left. And I had Hidden Power Ground on this thing, and it would have... I, I would, so it would have been for Houndoom. Uh, would, I would have required some... Uh, did she go to Fire Blast? She misses! So I can go ahead and hit Fire Blast, make it a 2-0 instead of a 3-0. But of course I miss! I, you know, why not, right? Just one more. Give me that that hope. So we are 0-2, uh, minus 8. And the noose is tightening around my neck. The good thing is the structural integrity of this house is terrible. So I'll probably actually uh, fall trying to hang myself. Uh, notifications there. That's happening. Guys, this has been another WB battle. This one was frustrating. Um, definitely made a mistake turn one with the Garchomp. Definitely made a mistake uh, on the Azelf trying to, trying to make a switch, trying to predict. Got it wrong. Uh, I felt like the Azelf, the switch from Azelf and the Heatmore I thought was a much better play then uh, it turned the result. Obviously, I thought that would have been would worked out. When the Hound do I could put anything at Assault Vest. That was great. It turns out if I just went for side shocks continuously, everything would have died. And uh, who knows what could happen there? Uh, I mean, the heat more sucker punch on the switch, whatever. But the big problem, the big thing was critting my Clefable. Even even through all those, the yeah, crit of the Clefable I think was was big and bummer, you know. Either way, guys, this has been another WB battle. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and uh, if I don't hang myself.
I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.